Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of H the weapons of H3VR. So today we're going to take a look at this thing. So there was a patch early this morning for my time. Which uh, added some weapons like the SVT, M1 carbine, M2 carbine. And of course this thing, this beautiful rifle. The first of its kind to be mass produced at least. Most of you will recognize this. Classic, looks like an AK-47, is German. So, this is the Sturmgewehr 44. It's been a favorite gun of mine for a long time. It's many people's favorite. First mass-produced assault fire rifle. Has a long history. Started off as the MKB-42 or the Machine Carbina 42. Then later redesignated MP or then updated and redesignated to MP43, then MP44, and finally the Sturmgewehr 44. It's a nice rifle, it's a, a gas operated uh, rifle. It fires this cartridge, 8mm Kurtz, or 8mm short, which is 7.92 by 33 I believe while the full length cartridge is of course 8 millimeter Mauser which is 7.92 by 55 I believe of course they did came out with the short cartridge to uh, make it a compromise between a rifle and some machine gun having some of the range of a rifle not all of it and some of the stopping power, not all of it, but more than enough. But in full auto, the controllability of uh, a submachine gun. So really the best of both worlds. Oh, and there is one nice little feature I want to show. And that's this dust cover. Whenever you pull that back, it automatically opens. Cool little feature. These magazines, they're 30 round mags. In real life, they would be 20, either forced 25 due to the... Recall, or not the recall spring, but the magazine follower spring. I think it's the follower spring. At least the magazine spring. So, it was recommended at first to load 25 rounds, and later they just made them 25 round magazines. But, they are 30 round mag, they can hold 30 rounds, the full thing at least. Now let's take a new mag. So, of course... There's no silencer or anything on this. I know that was a recent suggestion, but can't do that if there isn't a uh, mm, uh, yeah, a silencer. And there is uh, three modes. You have safe. I believe this is safe. You have semi-auto and you have full auto. This here is the thing. Real life, it's a push thing. Anyways, let's get it to semi-auto. And, uh, well, let's get shooting. We'll start off shooting those pots. The sights on this thing, I like the sights, they're easy to use. One thing which annoyed me in, uh, Video games, of course, it's kind of realistic, but doesn't really annoy me here. Is that the gun is kind of slim? It feels a lot thinner than, let's say, this, and it looks slimmer as well. But I don't notice it that much here, which is nice. Now, let's do uh, 30 rounds semi auto and then 30 rounds full auto. Let's make sure this is clean. Something ricocheted on it. Sights are nice and easy to use, like I said. Let's... Left eye. Sorry, guys. A decent grouping. A bit low. Oh, and I also should have mentioned when talking a bit about the history. The MKB-42 would fire from an open bolt, 
but the MP43 and later would fire from a closed bolt due to accuracy reasons. And as you gun fanatics will know, open bolts, the travel between here and here and fire will make you lose some of that accuracy. Not ideal for a weapon like this where you... Part of its design is that it's supposed to be accurate up to a few hundred meters still. Still. Nowadays, open bolt is usually reserved for machine guns. Submachine guns, uh, in World War II most were open bolt. That would later change to closed bolt. Uh, do I have a round in the chamber? Yes. Let's have some fun in full auto. And this is going to be me missing a lot. Although, to be fair, it was rather controllable, although I missed 10 shots. Let's take that again. There are worse gun guns in game to do uh, full auto, like the M14. Yeah, could be worse. Of course, I'm a man of accuracy, I prefer uh, semi-auto. Let's just charge that. You can get quite close fire rate, but be a lot more accurate. Anyways, that was uh, the iconic MP44 or 43 or Sturmgewehr 44. If you want to know more on how it works and all of that, you should check out Forget Forgotten Weapons. They have some great videos on Sturmgewehr, including a reproduction that's being made by HMG, I believe. I definitely recommend checking th that out. So. I hope you all enjoyed this short video on this beauty. I believe it could mount a scope. So maybe we'll see that. Although that might be my history failing me. But anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!